Paulo ne sila ngabali mukomera te bakubira abantu babasinga buyinza bamanya trigger sobolo bayisa kubye bayitamba basebone banyabo buweleza bwoko saba we busumula phase zenja ulombula mu bwafe omusanyi obo muchalo omusabi tafira mu mbera Kusabachi, <laughs> Because what pleases the one you are Get a Bible and get a book. We go in the word of God. Tulimaza Buri, a Satomonia, or a Nidio Recunda. One away for a goma, Ubu Ranibulu Munjala. May I know Yamukama? The Babu Chirun Chona. Let's pray. To Quavers is only one come up on this carrier. We thank the Holy Spirit for this event. I tell you what the books of Ravika worry. You've granted us the opportunity to come in your presence. We know whenever we come in your presence, you build us. You deliver us. And you also dress us to go and witness to so you. We you. So we give this time to you. Let you meet our lives. Lord. Let you transform our lives. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 34 verse 10 says that the children, the children of the cup, all the cups they do lack. But children that seek the Lord will not lack anything. Hallelujah. So, watch to know Yakatonda. Why we seek God? Watch to know Yakatonda. Why we seek God? Watch to see what? Why we fast? Watch to Yamu Church. Why we come in church? Just know it's seeking God is why. Watch to Somalia and Ikiwa. Why we read the scriptures? Come a favor. Praise God. We never so visit a Jurubuka. We never so visit a Guao. We have the everlasting promises. That when you seek God, Hallelujah. Mm. you cannot lack anything good. Let me repeat. We have everlasting promises in the scriptures. Some of you don't read the Bible. But the Bible teaches us that when we seek God, praise Jesus. We would lack anything good. So why do you come to seek God? When someone asks you why you go to church, why do you pray, why do you do whatever you do? You say, I'm responding to that scripture. Because the Bible has told me, when I seek God, I will get each and everything that is good. How many of you are still fasting? How many of you when you're ill and you were hindered because you're sick? How many of you when you're tired and you quit because you're tired? Did I tell you what is going to befall you? Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise there Jesus. are some of them who are sick and they fail to fast. But if you're healthy, prepare your journey in salvation. People who seek God, God reaches a time and he manifests to them. You will understand that 20 years ahead of you. When the people you were with sought God and you didn't seek him. Praise Jesus. People who seek God. May take five years. May take ten years. The brother told us was a pastor Thomas Church. Praise Jesus. 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 Praise Jes
But the pastor Tom of 2023, everyone admires to be like you. Everyone is admiring the place. But that pastor Tom Gero, he was born of the Tom Gero 30 years ago. Tom Gero, he was born of the Tom Gero 30 years ago. The other one of the, the, one of the, the 30 years ago, he sought God and then gave birth to this current Tom Gero. So turn to your neighbor and talk. Be careful from that 10 years from now. Because 2023, you reach in 2033. And then 2033 questions what you did in 2023. And then it tells you whatever you did, what you are supposed to do, I wouldn't have been lodging like this. Season is okay now. That season will speak. Praise God. So we the people who love things that are already coming out and are shining. I want this one sister to say she didn't want to conceive, she wanted children. She loves children and then she carries the yeah, those things of And then she says those things of conceiving in the way of She said I want to adopt a child. Tell your neighbor if you want to be baptized. You will not get the original life. People who made the original life. Those are the people who decide to pay a price and seek God. I speak that it may take 20 years for this church it may take 15 years for this church but one day to those who seek God they will testify to the words you are saying now and I know that they repeat it. It may take for us 15 years. It may take 20 years for us. But one day, what they call a kubotola, there is a fountain that will rise up in Rehoboth. The, the sisters and the brothers you see when they have become an issue in the, in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. So we seek God. Such that we touch on those promises that He promised us that are you seeking. So, child of God, before we go where we are going to pray for because most of you want to come on Thursday, they pray for you to go back. But deliverance is something very small on, your journey, on the journey of your life for God to deliver you today. It's not a problem. Even tomorrow it's not a problem. But you have a magenda of like 50 years on earth. When you're still existing for more 50 years, I've met people when they have been in salvation for around 10 or 20 or 30 years in salvation. But when it's not bearing fruits, and when he says I've spent 20 years in salvation, you just take a kakabuza. Praise Jesus. So on earth you be whatever you want to be. But if you're not severe, you will be there. Even if you build a crib or a mansion, but I want God to manifest in your life. That even if you're dead, when your God still speaks for 500 years from the time you've died, I know some of you may not understand it now. I know some of you will understand when you start praying. How many of you have read about Paul? Paul the Apostle. When Paul was preaching the gospel, there were the nations in the east of the Arabs. The Turkeys and all uh, the oh, place Paul evangelized there. And most of those nations were Christians. Amen. Amen. Most of them are now Muslims. You cannot look for the Ephesians and find it. All those places were already transformed. But, but what Paul did is still speaking.
The other people are now Muslims. As he was moving, he came back to the Ephesians, to the Colossians. When we read it, we get the life of God. So I also want God, whoever loves God, I want him to use him. When even if you die for five hundred years, it still remains speaking. Some of you have not understood it. So I want you to love seeking God. Let's leave the other side of ministry. Your father's house to be delivered. Some of some of us are the genesis of salvation in our families. At our place, that is preservation. So when you start seeking God, that's why the people that get born again in their families first get And then all the demons that bind the other ones, then they start fighting you because when you overcome. And nothing annoys God. You the one that was anointed by God to deliver the family, and then you joke in salvation. It's not in vain. It is God who decides. And then he says in the house of eight children, let me first tell this one. Let me first tell Evelyn in the family. So you're supposed to know it about the parts that attack you. The words that you face are always different. With the people that you pray for, and then they don't understand. And then they are the ones who mock you the more. And then they say you're born again, but you see how you know. But when you have the apostolic anointing to deliver their lives. So, Gabba neighbor. So tell your neighbor. Don't mind about what you don't have for now. Live along this cheap life. Nothing hurts like loving the cheap life. I've not prayed because I'm I want you to look at that treasurable thing that you have in your life. I want you to know that whenever your family gets saved, you're going to get a reward in God's presence. So you pray to I pray for you to seek for God. Amen. 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 We're going to look 174. We are going to share about the word of deliverance and we pray. I started telling you the gospel of the kingdom. Let's go to Matthew 4, 23 up to 25. Why am I giving you the foundation? Because this word of the word of the Lord. Some people misinterpret it. You find a person telling you don't need to be delivered. When you have Christ. But the truth is, we need to be delivered. Because we come from wicked foundations. All the light that is torturing us in salvation. It's a sign that the bondage is still strong. A person that is delivered cannot fornicate in salvation. What brings us to the other foundations of fornication that are not yet? So when you stop seeking God, the Bible teaches the book of Matthew. Matthew 12, 43. 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 Kale agambanti, nadayo mnyumba yangi, mwenava, buatuka, buatuka mu, ajilaba nganjere, enyiride, ngeilongo sebo. Anamutani, awagenda nareta, nareta lako, daimo ni abala musambu, abamu singo uvi, na uwe ba ingira, babi lomu, nebio lupanyuma ebio mtuoi. Yes, Praise the good Lord. 
They have said when the wicked spirit is when the person is delivered, I want to inform you that demons don't die. That demons are spirits. And when we cast them out, when we send the fire for them, we burn their plants. If they run and go to the dry place, but the demons cannot survive or they can't live without sitting in man. And when they go, they can go to your cities, not a but the devil. They are demons that are assigned and they are supposed to possess you. So if he's there, and then he sees that you're for you, and then the, the devil is also spirit. And then he sees you, the one who cast him out, also go. When you got some good life in salvation, I see children of God sometimes. When the situation is tough, they seek God. When they get some breakthrough, when they get something put them good, they get some good. The husband leaves enough money. And then they stop seeking God. So that demons that were supposed to be yours, they are already angry. You cast them out of that house. They have that zeal upon the person who prayed for you. They are angry. Even I'm trying to you decide for them to be cast out. They are very angry because you're the one who surrendered the heart to the church. And then you say, cast out this demons out of you. Remember in church, there are people who are already dedicated. When the devil, he had already gotten them right from their mother's womb. Some of you after being their children, they, the children are dedicated to the demons. Those are the people you find when they are being possessed with demons. And then you wake up and you come in church. Amen. Amen. Jesus is gracious. They pray for you. That demons run away. And then for you, you seek them. When whatever was suppressed is no longer It is not dead. Yes, we are so this is Jesus of That when that demon is being cast out, it grows in the dry land. In the but desert. But when it's there, it starts moving and looking around. This sister Annette is already from us and how she is. And then she sees that this one is still holding. And then they still touch her. But as they still come back to Jacob, when they see that she's now gossiping, and then they touch her. Because they have to come back with all that <laughs> to show that you cast no, out no, and then you <laughs> cast us out. We are the ones to rule your control. Amen. So, what you need to remember, you are not going to get saved. You are supposed to decide to get saved for real. Because some of you get saved for a season. When the season is worse, you get saved for real. When you get some good life and then you no, get no, saved no, for no, real. You even start mocking the ones fasting and they're like, why are you fasting? Let's go in our Matthew world. Matthew 4, 23. Yes, now we are going to go to the world. We are going to go to the world. We Avali bakwa tido endwa de istari zimu nevi bonyo bonyo na be mizimu na be nsimbo na avali bako zimbi na ba wonyo. Mukama inasibu. Praise Jesus. What is the change of Why am I bringing this scripture to you? I want to establish what I'm doing. Christ Jesus is the one who begins the ministry of deliverance. The second thing. The gospel of the kingdom. It has the part of deliverance. The third thing. When you got saved. It's your responsibility to seek for deliverance. 
deliverance. Don't wait for things to change. And it means that when I get saved, I have to pray to God to deliver me. You see, there's people who came to Jesus. The Bible teaches when you preach the gospel, what went next was casting out demons. All people are demon possessed. You don't want to hear. All the people you see passing by the voice like oh, oh, they are demon possessed. You don't believe. You also didn't know that you are possessed. You first came where the fire was. How many of you have ever fetched fire? Huh? You remember when we used to get the firewood? When there are some ants and things. But when they have not even beaten. When you used to bring that wood and put it in the fire. And then those insects used to fight to escape the fire. So if, if, if you not meeting the fire of deliverance, that doesn't mean you're not demon possessed. Many people are there and they are born again. When they have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. When they go there to and then they say, Me, I need to get born again again. Amen. Amen. That demon can hide. Praise Jesus. That demon where there is no fire, you want to know that the demon is That's why in church the devil fights churches that are active. Come and pray. Muyimbe. You sing. Waka. You go back home. Muyimbe. You sing. Waka. You go back home. Katina, mada. So after that, Nare he even brings a gospel that tells them you don't need to be delivered. If you have Christ, it's enough. Touch your neighbor and say you're supposed to be delivered. You're supposed to be delivered. You need deliverance. Mumeme. In the soul, in the flesh, in your finances, you're supposed to be delivered totally. Praise Jesus. So when Jesus came preaching, and then he cast out a lot of demons out of them. And after that, he sent them to, to minister to them. So Luke 1 74. That's what I pray for this year. Let's see God. And then we serve Him without fear. Some of you hide Bibles. Not because you have hidden it. But you don't want to show your neighbors that you have Because they are the ones to look for hope. Which again? The landlord shouts at you and then you're quiet. And then you're like, God must help me. And then this man, Zechariah, he says, God deliver us. We serve you without fear. We, we testify to you without fear. When you talk about the power of Jesus, it's just manifesting. So I want to encourage you that Okusumo rise of a process. It's not what service. That is one thing you're going to seek repeatedly until God releases you. Exodus. Okuva. Chapter 23. Verse 29. Look at the scene. But I'm established. I want you to love deliverance. I want you to seek deliverance. I don't want you to just think about getting money. But let God deliver you totally. Hmm? Amen. So. Mm -hmm. Some 
No experience. Hallelujah. Amen. God is going to deliver you little by little. But this is what I know. Forever you come in God's presence. He does something in your life. He does something in your life. So tell your neighbor. Whenever you seek deliverance, whenever you're diligent in seeking God, God delivers you out of something every day. That is all I know. Forever you come in God's presence. There are things that get us. And then there is something he adds up. Your eyes may not see it. But God does it. So touch your neighbor and tell him. You have not yet pleased us. You have not yet even pleased your family. You need to be delivered. How many of you when you are not pleased with your life? Feel if I don't please things of your place. Feel if I don't please things of your place. You come and you pretend around. That's why when we come in church. Hallelujah. Such a service of deliverance. Don't wait for Olivia to instruct you. Don't wait for Sister Ned to instruct you. Whether Brother Timothy instructs you. You go deep and you pray to God. Because what binded her is not what binded you. Families have a lot of things. Some of you don't even know the source of your suffering. When it's only your father or mother who knows it. Some of you and your father doesn't even know it. When it's your grandmother or grandfather who knows it and is already dead. Understood what I told you. People have a bondage. And some of you don't speak. But my point, I want us in this time as we pray. You pray to God to deliver you. Don't pretend that you're binded. When you see someone praying, don't think they are in a trouble. And in this time of this side of God, if you're not fed up. You won't see the house of God. So touch your neighbor and tell him. What is chasing you is not what is chasing me. So live along that salvation of the congregation. Mind about yourself. Your life is not pleasing at all. Praise God. One woman was testifying. Praise God. She was born with something she didn't know. She was born with something she, she didn't know. But every night, she had a spirit that used to awaken her. And then she used to see like it was a kid. He used to escort the child, they move around the house and they come back. Hallelujah. It was like a dwarf. And then after that, she used to disappear. And then she moved on witches. And then she went and told the mother. And she said, that is your, your sister. But don't you ever say anything. But this one was fed up of that rough. But Jesus has power. And people that criticize our Jesus, they don't understand him. You people, Jesus has power. We are the ones who weaken his power. Because of the life we walk. And when we fail to seek God. But God has power. Praise Jesus. And in the ministry of deliverance of same things. That God delivers. And I have faith. There is no power under the sun that God cannot take you out of. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. But as we were praying, and then the woman called Jesus, I preached the gospel. It was in 1 Kings 3.16. There were the prostitutes, two of them. They gave birth at once. And one of them slipped on the child of the As this one woke up, as was there. I'm going to tell you a story. This one exchanged the children and he said that one is yours. I said that your right life was stolen from you. Amen. Amen. And then we called upon God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And then fire fell from heaven and fell on the woman. And then she was delivered. But her deliverance made someone to die at their home. <laughs> someone died at their home for her to be delivered. But you, you don't read scriptures. You say for your sake it was given a full nation. There are some people who will die because of us to proceed. They are religious people here. Some of them are open. But some of us are victims. Those people that are still committing so serious. If you're serious in Christ, some of them will get saved. And some of them have to die. But let me tell you this. What I want to speak as what I have seen in our lives to be delivered is what I want to talk about. You need that element of determination. Let me tell you. Even if we get everything, even the scriptures. But when you're not determined, when you don't want to fast, when you don't want to pray, you want to be laid hands on. You will not see that total deliverance. You have to sit alone. And then you decide. And you say, I'm tired of this. I don't see people who are determined to seek God. People want that easy life. But they don't want to pay a price for it. I want to tell you the truth. A life that makes a meaning. It has a price behind it. You have to stand. And then you say, come what may. I am tired of this. If he needs for me to become slave. I'm tired of this demon. It even takes you to sleep on the ground. It takes you to fast as others. It takes you to sleep outside as others are inside. It takes you for you to sit down there in the grass and pray. In the scriptures. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. I'm talking about determination. Being determined. In the scriptures. Read for us Luke 1835. You also read Luke 19. Last one. What I'm sharing. If we are to be delivered of all that stuff, you're supposed to be dressed with determination. The current church people are weak. People want to be done for everything. It was finished on the cross. Christ paid that price for us. He gave us the blood for free. We have his word. We have his room. We have each and everything that we need to be delivered. So we all look at one Alright, right, so we are going to answer the question of Yeriko. From Zimbabwe, we are going to the question of Sabiriza. We are going to the question of Chita. We are going Asatu munana. Na yo gira wakulunga gambanti. Yesu umana wadawi onsasi. Asatu munda. Na baba ali wakule mbete. Na baba ali wakule mbete. Kaku yambe. Asatu munda. Na baba ali wakule mbete. Neba mogo kore lo kusirika. Na yini ye yongira nyo okogere la wakulu. Nti gomana wadawi onsasi. Kuruana. Yesu na imirida. Na lakiro kumule tawari. Awe ya sembe lo kumbi na mogo zanti. Oyagala kolerechi na gama tu mukama wangu njagala kusibula njagala kusibula yesu na mukama tu sibula oko kiri zako koko lo kote kasi mkuu na maendo rusoka na ingeli baswa na ingi la mpyeri ko na banga itamu rokubi kari raba waliwa mpyeri aiti 
e yali ayitibwa elinyere za kayo ne yali mukuru wa bawoza eranga mugagga verse 3 na salama gezi okulaba Yesu bwali na tayizolwe olwe kibina kwake kigera ki yali mumbi na duka na kulembera na alinya ku muti omuskamoli amulabe kwanga yali agenda kuyita mukube byo amina amen so bibi ali kwa bibi so have the scriptures. Luke 18, 35. Up to 42. Ne, Luke 19, verse 1. So, you may read up to verse 10. But my point is this. But Lomio was a blind man. But Lomio was a blind man. I hope you set your face. Yes, you are a blind man. Was Jesus seeing him or he wasn't seeing him? Why does he wait for him? Why does he wait for him to first pray for him? Jesus was seeing whether Bartholomew was determined to be delivered. What is there now? You may come and pray. And then Jesus observes you. And then is this person determined? Is this person determined? Or is in drama? And then he sees your pastor. The Bible teaches. The people that were walking with Jesus. They rebuked the Lord you to be quiet. Your first enemy is in the church. Your first enemy is in the church. The only person that first came. You're praying but you're not seeing. You're not seeing. The very person walking with Jesus. Bali batambula ne Yesu. They were walking with Jesus. Bali ne kuri omusajja yisiza mu dobozi. They saw that man raising his voice. Bali ne kukugamba sigwa so so kusaba. They say you know that fast to pray. Ne byosi bo jya bivan. Whatever you're fasting you quit. Hallelujah. Amen. Ne ne bazabu kamu lwa batulumaa. But I thank God for Bartholomew. Yagamba ze si itamu. He said me I'm not calling. Si no nyamu. I'm not seeking you. Wen saba gwe no nyamu manyi. Kansi galenga muyita. Keep on calling you. Amen. So there is that element of determination. You see that enemy has decided. And they say, come what may. Because these people close to Jesus. They were like ministers. They work with him there. Amen. Amen. They were already used to him. People who are staying in the church. If they are not careful, they become like workers in the church. They even know that when you pray for God to come down. They even know that service that has failed. They even see the one that has not come out. But may one Bartholomew. When he comes like this. His focus is on Jesus. Touch your neighbor and tell him. If you are to get deliverance. You are supposed to get determined. For you to pray beyond the crowd. Hallelujah. Amen. Muta kila chengamba. So, okusumulua. So deliverance. Already Christo ya kutusa suli la kumusaraba. Christ paid it for us on the cross. Na yewe tutamari la kunonya katona. But if you are not determined to sing God. Tutamari la kusaba. If we don't get determined to pray. Tuso wolo kuroza mukama ye munafu. We may think God is weak. Na yena ya kunonya. And yet is also seeking you. Hallelujah. Amen. So, kwa taku neiba mugambe. So, touch your neighbor and tell them. Wegende le zaba kadabu. Observe those people. Wegende le zaba mabite la nyabu. Be careful about those people. Be careful about your fellow born again. They prayed there. When they are not determined. And then they think God also stops there. Tell them it's not the way. He says the one he says. He says for him. So tell them be determined. And you seek deliverance. Amen. 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 Don't just come and flash me. Then you say, Lord. When the machines are taken off and you're like, I usually tell them. These people pray. You cannot learn how to pray. When you're praying on the microphone. And I see them. When we start to pray. When the microphone is off. When the microphone is off, they start looking around. It's like God was moving around and checking. Amen. 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 Amen.
Put it in a shingamba. Understood that I'm saying. Our maladies. That determine what? Bebazara. They want to keep back the things. I mean, to be to some of you are being bothered by challenges. You have in pity what someone to lay hands on you. Okay. For us, by the time God said, it was hard to get a person to lay hand with you. Even the pastors you are You're the one to pray for yourself. Whether in prayer the anointing gets you, and may want whenever we are in prayer. I see a person who has dedicated to me, and then I say, God made that person. Praise Jesus. Number two. That man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a short man. He was a short man. But he wanted to see Jesus. He said, Jesus, I'm tired of this. He was rich. That is what makes us go astray. When someone gets a man, and then he forgets of their family altar, that it's still active. For you to, own, to possess a million of it doesn't make what makes them not to go to the When you sought the God who destroys that altar for good, praise Jesus. Amen. So Zacharias said, No. I have to climb up because I want to see Jesus. What if I get people that next six months that you are going to start tomorrow? tomorrow. And the people that we shall spend the overnight you are going to be in one night of two months. You are going to come here in June. And then you leave when you are in July. Tomorrow it started. A person who will change the last six months. They have to be dressed with that spirit. Of stepping where they have never stepped such that they see Jesus. Praise Jesus. Let's see another man and pray. Understood To get the inference. You're supposed to be dressed with the woman. You're supposed to be determined. Praise Jesus. Some of us have made salvation be like it's meaningless. Because we are not determined. Let us get determined and call upon God. God finally meets his people and manifests. Praise Jesus. Let's go in the Old Testament. Praise Jesus. You see this one man. Let's go to Second Kings. Chapter 5. Second Kings chapter 5. I will name now, the man, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable. Because by him the Lord had given deliverance to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor. But he was a leper. He was a leprous man. In him. On his side, a full nation used to conquer because of him. Praise Jesus. You may be the most powerful person in your house. But when you have a leprosy, but that leprosy, how does Naaman get healed of it? Let's reduce the story. They directed him to Samaria to find a prophet. But when he met a prophet, Elijah, 
How many of you have ever read this? So you read the whole chapter, chapter 5. Prophet Elisha told him, You go and dip yourself in a pool seven times. You're the one to play your part. That water represented the Holy Spirit by then. The river is representing Christ. Because Christ is the river of life. They told him to go and dip himself in river Jordan. For seven times. He first broke pride. But finally he dipped himself in the pool. And then the leprosy went. For you to be hoped is in you seeking God and being determined. If you get determined, God is going to deliver you. Understood what I'm saying. We've come sharing about a vombone Because some of you don't even know how these things are. I don't want you to fear them, but to have a power. But I want you to get delivered, to get determined to seek that deliverance in your life. Praise Jesus. When the man was told, he went and dipped himself in that river. When he fell in the river for the first time, he came out wet. But when he was still buying it, he went back the second time. He went back the third time. He went back the fourth time. He went back the fifth time. He went back the sixth time. The Bible teaches the seventh time. By the time he came out, and then his skin was like overbearing. So he may be diligent. But when you see that things are stuck, you just persist. Just persist. One day, your skin of finances it will change and be like of that rich person that you see. Praise Jesus. Just persist and get determined. It will come one day when the things that you're seeing in other people, it's you in that those things that are high level. So turn to your neighbor and tell me. I don't mind how you see me. But me, I'm determined. Anytime, one day, one year, you'll see another phase of my life. In the name of Jesus. I stopped from there. Have you understood? I wanted to stop from What have I said? No. You have to be determined. Let's get determined. Get determined. Let's quit having pity. Those people want to see your God. Understood. Even if you quote scriptures without fruit, they won't believe. You say, but you look, says this, they don't. For them, they don't understand the scriptures. They understand the language of the fruits. Praise Jesus. Even the people you see above, this is very hard. All the people that you see that are victorious. Brother Dennis, he is. 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 And used to pray. It was like, Lord, it touched me. Lord, it touched me. Lord, it touched me. Lord, it touched me. Then I feared. I was like, which Robert are they talking about? Then they say that you see and we know him. I looked at this one speaking. And I also looked at Pastor Kayanja where I was. And then I said, So my brethren, when you don't get determined, tomorrow we start attaching yourself to the people when they are already successful. You don't understand this life. 
which not in vain in God for you to see for you just made yourself like that it's not by accident for you to be here if you don't do what you're supposed to do there is a season that it doesn't denies you when the next season cannot come you because you don't have its fruit and even here where you've been you, you still don't have fruit there are people that are there now. So here in God, you have to see that you see God. Let's bring an example. Pastor Tom was the only one. Though that generation has this dot com, but for him, he saw God. He paid a price in different dimensions. Of life. And even in this generation of the elites, he brings the cars and the like. Yeah, now we want to meet Pastor Tom, 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 Praise Jesus. Until he lives up because of the grace of God. But when his name is still about, so like, they work for it here in the place. Here, when you don't seek God from here, and then you buy your spiritual world, and then this riches are level it ends. I love giving examples. This one may be in primary four. And then she remains in. And then this one has in primary three. And then she finds her. And this one who put a lot of effort on this one. Because they are used to her. Yeah. And who are they usually give her the welfare? Amen. Amen. They put the focus on this one and the power. This one goes to primary five, and this one still stays in primary five. Praise Jesus. So whenever this one is stuck from here, and she fails to get the power to take her to the other she reach a level in the She get a level and get used. And even the teacher sent her, and then she starts beating her. And then the teacher sent her. To so God put beans for them. The teacher press says, You God bring some sauce for me. Because she has focused on the person and she's not living where she is. She has focused on the person and she's not living where she is. So what the, the result? And then this one is like, oh, I should go to guardian of God. And then the school of trust gives her that she goes to guardian of God. And then she's also there. And then she also fails from there. Pitch. She's still in primary form. So the result is. And then she reaches a level. She's familiar with it. When she's used to the spiritual things. He knows every pastor. Even since the starting churches. You know pastor so and so. I saw that pastor we were together. For her she is still there. When she left trust in God. She came to guardian. And she came to guardian. And then 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 she came to guardian. So she's now a man, but in the spiritual she's stuck. But she's at, at some level. She's constant. Senyonga, 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 mumani. Senyonga, senyonga, senyonga. Even remember your prayer is that you know the story. But I'm going to go. 
Na yibo mugamba kusumula kubi ya moyo. But when you say that you reason the spiritual things that are reasonable, he doesn't have. Touch your neighbor and say be careful. Ten years ahead of you, you should make some money and 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 you should make some money. Leave that people looking around. The people looking around the 
waiting for you. But there is the grace of God that is joining the people. That is joining the determined people. That is joining the determined one. So you call upon God. Call upon God in your word. 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 Call upon God in your word.
that person I'm talking about many times you see that dead people you see yourself speaking to that dead you see a lot of times that dead you see that you are praying to the dead you see yourself and you're going to die but you're not going to die there is a God in heaven 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 Whoever swallowed your journey is vomiting it out. Whoever swallowed your journey is vomiting it out. You have a destiny. 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 Whoever swallowed your journey, let him vomit it. 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 Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, this evening, we bring it in your presence. We know you've met a people, but the grace in this place, you've done something to the life of everyone. And I believe that there is something you started, and there are things you've done. So I stand in authority and I declare deliverance to every man and woman. I declare a free life. 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 I declare a life of freedom. I declare a life of liberty. In the name of Jesus. Whoever man is here, whichever woman is here, let them see another side of life. As they are determined to seek you, as they are determined to be delivered, let them see what they are seeking in the name of Jesus. And I pray to the Almighty God, whether in their work, whether they have marriage, whether they are children, let them see deliverance in the name of Jesus. Father, it will be understood that no one seeks you in vain. I've declared a privilege. I've declared a blessing. I've declared a new life. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus.